It's tea time, positive tea time, and we are spilling all of it right here in this space created by two crazy fun-loving besties. It's a no-judgment zone for sharing stories of hope, faith, love, growth, and most of all, grace and gratitude. So join us as we get ready to share some positivity and get a fresh perspective on life. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Spilling the Positivity, and it is brought to you, this season is brought to you by Tetley, and this episode is brought to you as well by McVitie's Rich Tea Biscuits. Now, we're always excited here at Spilling Positivity, aren't we, Maria? Always. But we're very excited today because we have a super special guest, Tony Olton, who is the guru, I like to call him the guru, he doesn't like to hear that, but I like to call him the guru of emotional intelligence. He is the founder of the Caribbean Institute for Social and Emotional Learning. Learning yes. And, um, you know, we're going to find out all about that. But before we do that, Tony, welcome to SPT. Thank you, thank you. Thank yes, you, it's thank such you. a pleasure to have you. Thank you. Tell yeah. us a bit about you, Tony. Mm. <laughs> I think you're going to run out of time. Ah, that's okay. We'll make time. Um, so let's start with where I am today. Yes. Um, today I'm about um, how do I use what I've learned. Okay. Both just for the fact that I've lived life. Right. But also through intentional study, mm -hmm. what I've learned to enable people to find their purpose mm -hmm. and live their potential. Fantastic. You know, we've all gone to school and yes. we've done the French and the geography and the history and mm -hmm. the home economics. Um, but nobody's really ever taught us about ourselves, right. how we work, right. and how we can be more effective mm -hmm. in this space that we occupy. Okay. So that's what my life is now but dedicated to. But how did you to. get here? I mean, you didn't wake up, uh, you didn't come out and say, no, you know, at five, no, be like, I'm doing not, this. Not at all, not at all. Not what at has all. life taught you that even brought you to this point? Um, so I've lived life. Yes. Um, I, when I was a boy at school, Canon Jones used to talk about the vicissitudes of life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I've come to understand what he means is uh, life and its curveballs. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you've had um, some. Life and its... Some? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've had good times. Right. I've had really, really bad times. Right. Um, but I, I got to a point in my life where, um, you know, I, one of the things I say is that the person who coined the phrase life begins at 40. Yes. Mm -hmm. He died at 39. Ah, oh, I love that. <laughs> he, he was kind of looking forward, he or she, they were right. kind of looking forward to 40. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I, I got to that place at, just as I was approaching 40, mm -hmm. um, where it became highly reflective. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of discontent mm -hmm. with my life and how it had gone up until then. And so I, I resolved that I wanted the second half of my life to be far, 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 far superior to the second half. Okay, mm -hmm. and you weren't living an emotionally aware life, you no, would say no, the first no. half? I was like, like every, most everybody else. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you get up on mornings and you make it through the day. Yeah, and mm -hmm. start another day the next day. Start another day mm -hmm. the yeah. next day. And you wake up some days like, yeah, okay, here yeah, we go again. Yeah, yeah. And then There's one no day you're married, then the day you have children, and then the next day you're doing this, and one day you're up, the next day you're down, and mm -hmm. so yes. Yeah, just living. Just existing. Living. But, yeah, just, really, just but not, existing. Yeah, but yeah. not really living not, it in, in, not in fulfilling, fulfilling. Not, exactly. Not, not that sense of peace and yeah. fulfillment mm -hmm. and contribution mm -hmm. and making a difference. Right. And, yeah, yeah. So what brought about that paradigm shift for you? Apart from the fact that you were not... Getting get, get to be 40. Getting to be 40. That was, that, that was the yeah, aha moment. Getting to be 40 and asking, you know, so what is life all about? Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, you've been here, you've done that, you've required this, you've lost that. What is life really all about? Mm -hmm. uh, and how, how can I make sure that my, the rest of my life is one that is richer mm -hmm. and fuller? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that want, led you to emotional yeah, intelligence. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Tell us what that is. We hear that word, buzzword, a lot. Mm. But really, what is that? Is that just being self-aware or is there a lot more to it? Self-awareness is the foundation. Self-awareness mm -hmm. is the foundation. But at, at our core, we are emotional creatures. Yes. You know, we think we are highly rational. Mm -hmm. We are not. Um, the, 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 the root of emotion, the original meaning of emotion or emo, emotare is to move. Mm -hmm. You know, we are driven, we are driven by our emotions. Mm -hmm. And so to the extent that we don't understand them, mm -hmm. for example, I've, I've just come from teaching a class. And when I said to the class, emotions are neither negative nor positive. Oh, okay. 
People are startled. Right. Emotions are very neutral. They just are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's how you respond. First of all, do you recognize them? Do you recognize what is happening? Mm -hmm. Can you put a name on it? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we teach is that if you can name your emotions, you can tame your emotions. Ah, yeah. I so like if you that. name it, you tame it. If you, if you name it, you tame it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I'm, to name it, I have to become the observer of it. Yeah. Okay. So you have to be present. Is, yes. that, is that necessary? Can I teach this class? <laughs> well, it's not a class, it's a conversation. <laughs> and I just observe my emotion of learning something. Yeah. So to name them, mm -hmm. I must be observing them. Mm -hmm. So I'm not caught up in them. Yes, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I am not my emotion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I am having an emotion experience. Right, okay. And, and I can name them, I can say, I am, I, I am mm -hmm. feeling mm -hmm. X, I am feeling Y. Then the next question is, so what, what are you going to do about it? Mm. Mm. The response. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is my choice? Mm -hmm. Is this an emotion I want to ride? Mm -hmm. Or do I need to shift what we call now? Do I need to navigate uh, and move okay. to a different emotion? Mm -hmm. Why is this even important? Why does it matter? Do you think that something like this has an impact on... Every know? aspect of your life. Wow. Of your mom. Every aspect of your So life. we can see it in the schools, we can see it in the way what things happening in society. In yeah. Whatever space you occupy, mm -hmm. whatever role you occupy, you are who you are. Right. You are there and you are whoever you are. Okay. And it is your emotion mm -hmm. that is driving, that is informing your decision making. Mm. You know? Right. Um, mm -hmm. it, if, so in Barbados we have issues. They, they call them non-communicable diseases. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means you don't catch it from anybody. It's, it's not contagious. Right. Non-communicable diseases result from lifestyle choices. Mm -hmm. Right. We have issues with unwanted pregnancies, lifestyle choice, mm -hmm. again. Uh, we have challenges with sexually transmitted diseases, lifestyle choices. We have issues with unmanageable debt. Mm -hmm. Lifestyle, lifestyle choices. choices. All of those lifestyle choices you're are, saying are ruled by... Are rooted in our decision-making, rooted in our emotions. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, and I can, I can really identify with that because I know sometimes people say, like, the whole thing you just mentioned about um, lifestyle choices with, like, non-communicable diseases, people would say that they eat to soothe yes. an emotion yes. or they may go and do what they call retail therapy mm -hmm. yes. to yes. deal yes. with yes. an emotion. Right. So right. there is really a strong linkage there. Right. Right. Yeah. So, so let me build out a little bit more for you. So we have two prime drivers in our lives. Mm -hmm. Pain mm -hmm. and pleasure. Mm. Right. So whenever I behave, I am chasing one of two things. The acquisition of pleasure happiness, joy, joy, entertainment, right, or the avoidance of pain, shame, mm -hmm. yeah. guilt, wow. mm -hmm. yeah, okay, fear, right, yeah, yes, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. the challenge is, we've all gone to school, like I said, and we've learned our French and geography, mm -hmm. we've not been coursed, we've not studied the world inside of ourselves, mm -hmm. school helps us to understand some aspect and to some degree, the world outside of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Emotional intelligence is about understanding and more effectively navigating the world inside, inside. of yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that when you manifest, when you, when, you, when you function, you're functioning out of two places. One, with a, well, three places. One, with awareness. Mm -hmm. Two, out of intentionality. And three, out of being purposeful. Mm -hmm. wow. So I notice what is happening. Mm -hmm. But I choose what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I choose what is going to happen, mm -hmm. and I know why I want that thing to happen. How do you respond to those people who say, "Well, you know, this is I can't, I cannot control how I feel. I am upset, and I can't control it." Okay. So, all behavior is learned behavior. Right. One and two. All behavior has an emotional basis. Okay. So let's juxtapose those two things. Mm -hmm. All behavior is learned Learn. behavior. Mm -hmm. I, so, so the way I behave is how I've learned to behave. And that behaving is to satisfy some emotional need. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah? Yeah. So the response I give or the reaction I give is I've learned that way. Mm -hmm. If I'm aware, when it begins to erupt, mm -hmm. I can arrest it. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you're present and aware, you can then... If I'm present and aware, mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. that I have this tendency, that I have this preference, mm -hmm. right. that, that I go to almost now naturally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's your default. Yeah. It, that's the perfect word. That's mm -hmm. my default. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I accept it for what it is. Mm -hmm. Right. But do I, press, do, I, do I function with that place of awareness? Yeah. As you said, there's no, do I stay in the moment? Do I recognize what is happening? Mm -hmm. Where do I now become the observer of myself? I say, aha, that fell is beginning to erupt. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Am I going to let it control me? Yeah. Yes. Or am I going to control yes. it? Yes. yes. So, yes. what role does triggers play in this whole thing? For instance, um, childhood trauma. Um, significant. Because there's yes. so, um, yeah. see so, so many, many, so yeah. much yeah. of that. Other significant. Things. Yeah. Significant. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's something that we only know beginning to talk about. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, to talk absolutely. About that. Right. A significant amount of, of tra trauma that takes place in our lives. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. um, in my own case, um, I am told my father left home when I was two years old. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Uh, my mother, uh, by the time um, she left Barbados as a 21 year old, she had three of us. Wow. wow. Okay. Uh, my youngest brother was 18 months. Uh, we were raised by a grandfather who was not present. He was he, he was present physically, right. but not right. present not emotionally. emotionally. Yeah. So he was mm -hmm. like a provider giving. No, he was oh, just present. He was just present. Ah. He was just literally physically there. He was just, yes. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Uh, and our grandmother who was the caregiver. Mm -hmm. um, by the time we were like, like probably seven or eight, seven, um, she had left. She had moved out of the family home to look, look after an elderly lady. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, and so we never really experienced as young boys that... Yeah, nurturing. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so the question is, what, what impact has that experience had, certainly in my formative years mm -hmm. and in my, in my young adult life, right. what, what impact did that have on my own decision making? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and the challenges that present. Right. Presented mm -hmm. um, as a person who got, first got married at age 21, 21 wow. 22. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. With, uh, without any sort of real um, guidance as to how to navigate. Or oh, any experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. How to nurture a relationship yeah. as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yes, trauma or childhood traumas play a lot mm -hmm, in, mm -hmm. in that in the in the writing of that script mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that informs how we function when we go up into into adulthood. Right. And mm -hmm. so emotional intelligence is about spending time trying to develop that understanding, understand mm -hmm. itself. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I often say to my to my students, our challenge in life is that we have two eyes. Yeah. Hmm. And with those two eyes we look out. Wow. Oh. So we see, we see others, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and we know their business. Right, yes, yeah. <laughs> right, right. And we pay a lot of attention to that. Because yes. we're looking out. Yes, yeah. Emotional intelligence requires, requires me to spend more of my time mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. looking, looking in. in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So being introspective. No, absolutely. And being reflective. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. self -analysis. Introspective means that I spend time trying to understand what is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Reflective means I spend time trying to understand where did that come from? Mm -hmm. That thought that just erupted, that feeling that just erupted, that behavior that I just engaged in, mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. did that come from? Yeah, right. Yeah. Do you think there is a fear for because that leads to some level of vulnerability? Yes. Um, do you think that people are fearful of yes. that? It's yes. a lot of work. Yes, yes. So one of the things we teach is that emotions are neither negative nor positive. Mm -hmm. So fear is not a negative emotion, it's not a bad emotion. Yeah, I like right. that, I like that. All fear says is there's the potential for, for loss, mm -hmm. to suffer pain, to mm -hmm. suffer... There's some risk. Right. But, but here's what we know. Mm -hmm. I can't grow unless I have that place, that space or that place of fear. Yeah. Wow. Fear just says, okay. pay attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be careful. I need to sip a, it, it, it to sip some tea on it, that one. It doesn't say yeah. don't go forward. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It says just be, be careful. Be careful. Take mm -hmm. your time. Yes. Analyze. Mm -hmm. Be reflective. That's not how most people see fear. No, 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 no. no. Mm -hmm. Because it's fright, fr fright, fight or flight. flight, freeze. <laughs> right. Yeah? Yeah. All fear says is there's a potential of injury, of loss, of harm. Mm -hmm. That's okay. One of the things we teach is that 
what we describe as suffering. Suffering is pain multiplied by resistance. Pain multiplied by, by resistance. resistance. Mm -hmm. So there's, yes. a, there's a potential. Yes. So I'm going to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Do I stay in that place of vulnerability mm -hmm. or do I push past that? Because if I stay in that place of vulnerability, of vulnerability I am going to suffer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, okay. So fear is great. The question is, what do I do about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I manage it? Right. How do I manage it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how do you tell people they should try to manage their, you know, what tools? Vision. Mm -hmm. You have to have a sense of yourself beyond this moment. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And when yeah. you say vision, does that mean not only about beyond this moment, but where you want to get and where you yeah, want to go? Yeah, what is it that I want? want okay. Mm -hmm. What is it okay. that I want? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, here, yeah. Either in the context of this circumstance and experience, mm -hmm. And and or beyond this, ultimately, yeah, what yeah. I want the sum of my life to be about. Yeah. So, so your passion and purpose, sure. you have to have some level of purpose and passion to get there to understand that. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Yes. I'll take that. Yes. 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 Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Passion yeah. and purpose. Yeah. Says a, a compelling way yes. will overcome any what. A compelling any way, way will overcome, overcome any what. Any what? Any ah. These gems. Mr. Definitely. Olsen, these gems. So, so if, if I am sufficiently committed to some vision of my life, of myself, what you might otherwise call purpose, mm -hmm. uh, part of what we talk about in practice is something called a noble goal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Noble goal means that there is something I'm committed to that is larger than me. Ah. And my own needs. So it always has to be larger than you. All, always. Because, you yeah. know, some people think that purpose means being... What's about? It's about, about me. Them, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. So it's it's always larger. Purpose. Uh, from, I've come to understand purpose to mean service. Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So the, how do I use my resources, my knowledge, financial resources, my time, whatever I consider to be a value to me? Mm -hmm. How do I now use that? Okay. To mm -hmm. be able to make a contribution that is larger than myself, uh, and part of the attribute of being larger than myself means that it is so large I recognize that I can't do it on my own uh, yeah so I, I have necessity that I must connect with others community mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes for my purpose to be fulfilled I need to connect with others so I'm, I'm serving others mm -hmm. and it is so large I need others that carry yeah so the big question is that the others have to have the same idea or vision or for purpose as you or is it can it be just people in general how does that what does that look like i, I like the way td jx put it um he wrote a book called maximize the moment mm -hmm. and he says that in our relationships we should seek to have what he calls 3d relationships mm -hmm. so you want to have people who are different yes okay yes yeah. because there's value in difference mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, if we're all thinking the same thing... We're not going anywhere. We're not going. Not growing. Right. Mm -hmm. You want people who are headed in the same direction. Mm -hmm. So we, we are aligned in terms of values and... Yeah. Yeah. But you also want people who are headed for the same destination. Mm. Uh, yes. Yeah. Because we could be aligned with, in terms of values, but we have different stop points. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I'm assembling that um, cabinet... Right. Mm -hmm to help me fulfill my own vision and mission in life. Mm -hmm. um, that's the acid test. Mm -hmm. I see. Do you bring value? Because mm. you bring difference? Yes. With me? Do we share the same values mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in terms of what's really truly important in life? And or, or do we essentially want the same things out of life? Right. And it basically is, do, do, do we all want to make a difference? Right. We, we can make that difference differently. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. yes, yeah, yeah. But there's this overarching sense that I, I want to use my life mm -hmm. to be able to make a difference, to be able to add value to the lives of others. Yeah. So how do we speak to people who, you know, in relationships, whether uh, that may be difficult, maybe with a partner, maybe with children at home that they're having a hard time with? who they themselves, they don't have the emotional intelligence, may not recognize that they have the emotional intelligence, but there's real conflict going on. Mm -hmm. How do we, how, how, how do you speak to those people to make them understand that there is a deficit? Um, those people who are not emotionally intelligent? Mm -hmm. You ask, how do you speak? Uh, I think of greater value is how do you live it? How do you live it? Okay. How do you live it? Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. 
uh, people are going to be more moved, more influenced by who you are mm -hmm. than by, by anything you have to say. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so the more emotionally unintelligent the other is, mm -hmm. the more emotionally intelligent mm -hmm. you, you have need to, to be. be. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You have to teach them, not teach them, but show them. Demonstrate. Through, to become the model. To, to become, become the, the model. model. Right. model. You have to do modeling. No, that is not easy. No. By any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> right. <laughs> But, but if, if you are persuaded that to become more emotionally intelligent allows you to be a more effective human being, mm -hmm. and if you are persuaded you can't change anybody, right. mm -hmm. all you can seek to do is have influence in their lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And if you're persuaded that it is a process, mm. and that's, I think that's a piece that most of us miss, right. mm -hmm. that it is a process. process. It's a process, and mm -hmm. it, it's going to take time. It's going to take time. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. 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 And so you, you, you really have to be committed to the long, you have to have a long game. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And not just short term, short term yeah. reward or pleasure. Yeah. So emotional intelligence, let us talk about, before we wrap up, let us talk about how we can, if we see somebody in our family um, who's struggling, mm -hmm. um, how do we help them? Mm -hmm. How do we model the, that? The, the, the key skill there is empathy. I was just going to ask you if there's a difference yeah. between empathy and emotional intelligence. No, empathy is a subset of, okay. is a component of um, emotional intelligence. Okay. Because that's not, that's not mis get, forget the fact that we live in a society where, you know, it's cut quite small. So there's, you know, we sometimes we become insular. There's the, you know, negativity where it comes to talking about other people and actually mm. okay. reveling in mm -hmm. somebody's, Misfortune, Fortune, okay. instead yeah. of mm -hmm. lifting up. Mm -hmm. okay. So empathy means that I consciously, deliberately, intentionally function out of a place where I get out of my head mm -hmm. and try to get into your head. Okay. Mm -hmm. In other words, what's going on from your perspective? Yeah. Try mm -hmm. to understand your, your side of the table. When you say this, mm -hmm. this is what I heard. Mm. Right. Did I hear you correctly? Yeah. Right. You seem to think. You seem to feel. You seem to prefer. Mm -hmm. Right? We talk about assertive language as opposed to, um, this term slips me now, I'm not hesitant. Um, where when I engage you, I engage you from a place where there's space for you to say, mm -hmm. that's not what I meant. What I meant was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So honest conversation, honest discourse, allowing people to, for you to understand what they're, where they're coming from and to listen actively. Yeah. You say honest, mm -hmm. I say curious. Curious, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Curious meaning that I know what I know. Mm -hmm. I know what I think. I yeah. know what I would prefer. But I don't know where you're coming from. Okay. Right. Uh, what, so what we teach people is that if I'm not functional of curiosity, I'm functional of judgment. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And judgment is not it. Yeah. When I'm in judgment, I'm staying in my head, mm -hmm. in my terms of reference. Mm -hmm. If I'm functional of curiosity, I want to understand where you're coming from. Yeah. Yeah. It does not mean at the end of the day, I am necessarily going to take your position. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean that at all. Right. But I've spent time trying to understand where you are coming, coming from. from. What makes that important to you? Right, right. Wow, Tony, this has been enlightening, to say the least. And there's sure. so much more yep. to emotional intelligence. A lot more. If people, a lot so more. how do people get, you know, a taste of this or sign um, up to well, learn more about this? You can visit our, our website, cisel.org, mm -hmm. C-I-S-E-L.org, mm -hmm. or you can WhatsApp at 246-266-2628, 246 266 262 it. And, and, and we can begin the conversation. Yeah, we'll yes. tag that for you so that you can do that investigation and connect with, with right. the organization. Because emotional sure. intelligence seems to be the It is it is described they say it is one of the top ten skills for me mm -hmm. in today's world. Absolutely. It is the top skill. A, emotional intelligence, there's a number of definitions. It's the skills to navigate the world as it is, mm -hmm. not, not as we wish it would be. Uh, yeah. yeah, that is yeah. brilliant. What a point to yeah. end on. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us, Tony. Mm -hmm. we, it was a pleasure having you. Hey, thank you Definitely. most kindly. Thanks sure for the invitation. We'll have to come, you'll have to come, come back again. again. Yes, and have when, more when, of a conversation when, with us. Whenever you're ready. There's so much to still on, to, to unpack. unpack on this topic. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining this episode of Spilling the Positivity. Thank you again, Mr. Olton, for joining us and starting to 
kind of whet our appetite on this conversation around emotional intelligence. Please continue to stay safe and of course, please stay, stay positive. positive. Take care.